Hello Internet. So today I'm cracking open another one of the uh, dual power box sets. If you didn't watch the first video, this is the uh, six alternate art cards, six booster packs, and a double-sided game board, which is actually fairly nice. I, I was expecting a uh, one of those really cheap pieces of uh, paper that they include in a lot of uh, their structure decks and whatnot. And I'm very happy to see it's an actual physical game board. So I, I was wrong when I first thought it was a uh, piece of paper. And I will freely admit that I was wrong on that. So we'll just get right into it. There's the pack. And the game board underneath. And so the alternate art cards were we have Dark Magician, Elemental Hero Neos, Stardust Dragon, Number 39 Utopia, and Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon, and Decode Talker. You know, same ones that you have on the cover art. So we'll just get straight into the first pack. So we have Utopic Onomatopoeia. It's always treated as Zubaba, Gagaga, -ga -ga, Go Go Go, and Dododo -do -do card. During your main phase, you can special summon one, up to one each of Zubaba, Gagaga, -ga -ga, Go Go Go, and or Dododo -do -do monsters from your hand in defense position. Also, you cannot special summon from the extra deck for the rest of the turn, except XE's monsters. You can only use the effect once per turn. I mean, it's very good for getting out uh, bodies. Lefty Driver. If this card is special summoned, you can make this card become level 3 until the end of the turn. Well, fair enough. During your main phase, except for the turn this card was sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card from your graveyard, add one righty driver from your deck to your hand. You can only use this effect once per turn. I mean, it's decent if you're looking for... Uh, if you have uh, XCs that require specific levels. Trickstar Magical Laurel. Activate this card by targeting one Trickstar monster in your graveyard. Special summon it and equip it with this card. When this card leaves play, destroy that monster. Once per turn, if the equipped monster inflicts battle or effect damage to your opponent, you can special summon one Trickstar monster from your hand. You can only activate one per turn. I mean, it's not bad. Brings the Trickstar out back from the graveyard. Let's you uh, special summon more Trickstar monsters with their effects. Hieratic Dragon of... Tefnuit. If only your opponent controls a monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. This card cannot attack during the turn it was special summoned this way. When this card is tributed, special summon one dragon normal monster from your hand, deck, or graveyard, but make its attack and defense zero. Hmm. I mean, brings itself out. It lets you bring out uh, another... Uh, Dragon from your hand deck or graveyard when it leaves play, so that that's not too bad. Trickstar Holly Angel. Each time a Trickstar monster is normal or Lynx summoned to a zone this card points to, inflict 200 damage to your opponent. Trickstar monsters this card points to cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. If your opponent takes damage by a Trickstar monster's effect, this card gains attack equal to the damage they took until the end of the turn. I mean, it uh, doesn't seem too bad for the trick stars. Gives them some protection. Gives, gives herself a uh, buff. Hot Red, uh, Hot Red Dragon Arcfiend Abyss. Quick effect, you can target one face-up card your opponent controls. Negate its effects until the end of the turn. When this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent, you can target one tuner in your graveyard. Special summon it in defense position. 
You can only use each effect once per turn. Hmm. I mean, once per turn, you can turn off your opponent's card. You can bring out uh, tuners when he deals battle damage. That's not too shabby at all. Necroz of Unicor. You can ritual summon it with Necroz ritual. Must be ritual summoned. You can discard this card and target one Necroz card in your graveyard, except for himself. Add it to your hand. You can only use this effect once per turn. Negate the effects of face-up monsters on the field that were special summoned from the extra deck. So, you know, I mean, it's he shuts off uh, extra monsters. You can discard him uh, to bring back other cards. Card of Demise. Draw until you have three cards in your hand, and for the rest of the turn after this card resolves, your opponent takes no damage. During the end phase of this card... The end phase of this turn, send your entire hand to the graveyard. Yeah, I think in the anime it was you draw up to five cards and then five turns later you would discard your entire hand. Which, I, I mean, I don't think it ever went longer than five turns after that. I, I don't think there was ever a time where they actually had to discard their hand in the anime. So, I mean, drawing up to three and then having to discard if you have cards left in your hand isn't at the end of the turn isn't quite as bad. Bit of a shame about the, uh, your opponent takes no damage as well, but... I mean, if you need to draw three cards right now, and you have nothing... Stardust Wish. Once per turn, if a Stardust Synchro monster you control is tributed to activate its own effect, except during the damage step, you can target that monster, special summon it. Your opponent cannot activate cards or effects in response to this effect's activation. Monster special summon that by this cannot be destroyed by battle while in attack position. So, I mean, that seems like quite good support for uh, Stardust. Mark of the Rose. Activate it by discarding, by banishing one plant from your graveyard. Then target one face-up monster your opponent controls. Equip this card to it. Take control of the equipped monster. Hmm. Once per turn, negate this card's effect until your next standby phase. Huh, that's... Uh... Yeah, so every turn you would just... So it would keep uh, bouncing control of the monster back and forth. That seems uh, pretty decent if you have some way of uh, getting rid of your opponent's monster right away. Or if you have a way of uh, just stopping it from attacking you uh, on your opponent's turn. So we have Soul Pendulum. Target two cards in your Pendulum Zones. Change each target's Pendulum Scale by one, minimum of one. You can only use this effect once per turn. Each time your Pendulum Monster is Pendulum Summoned, place one counter on this card. Pendulum Monsters on the field gain 300 attack for each count a counter on this card. You can remove three counters from this card during your main, main phase this turn. You can conduct, conduct one Pendulum Summon of a Monsters in addition to your Pendulum Summon. Hmm. Like I'm not I'm not too familiar with how well uh, pendulum summons work and how quickly you'll be able to fill it up with counters, but I mean it, it seems pretty decent. High Priestess of Prophecy. You can reveal three spellbook cards in your hand. Special summon this card from your hand. Once per turn, you can banish one spellbook card from your hand or graveyard, and then target one card on the field. Destroy that card. Now, this seems quite nice. I know that there are a fair amount of uh, spellbook cards. And, I mean, just being able to uh, special summon her out, and then you can just start discarding them to blow up uh, your opponent's cards. Beat Cop from the Underworld. If this, monster, if this card is Link Summoned using two dark monsters with different names as material against this effect, you can tribute one monster, then target one face-up card on the field, place one patrol counter on it, you can only use this effect of Beat Cop from the Underworld once per turn. If a, car with, if a card with a patrol counter would be destroyed by battle or card effect, remove one patrol counter from it instead. Hmm. So you can keep putting patrol counters onto uh, cards, but you have to distribute. Hmm. Shed All Construct. Two flip monsters. 
During your main phase, you can fusion summon one Shadow Fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or field as fusion material. If this card is in your graveyard, you can send one Shadow card from your hand or face up field to the graveyard, and if you do, special summon this card. You can only use each effect once per turn. Like, it's not a bad uh, way of bringing itself out, and it uh, effectively gives you uh, a free uh, polymerization each turn. Link Disciple. You contribute one monster this card points to, draw one card, then place one card from your hand on the bottom of the deck. You can only use this effect once per turn. Hmm. I, I mean, you're having to tribute a creature to draw a card to put another card on the bottom of the deck. Not quite sure how I feel about that. That seems a bit... Uh, a bit steep, unless you have stuff that you specifically want to uh, discard while they're on the field. Well, I mean, I guess there's enough support for uh, bringing stuff out of the graveyard or tributing out of the graveyard, so I guess he's not too bad. So you have Silver Gadget. When he's normal or special summoned, you can special uh, summon one level 4 machine monster from your hand. If this card is destroyed by battle or card effects, you can special summon level one, four, one level 4 gadget monster from your deck, except Silver Gadget. You can only use one effect per turn, and only once that turn. So, I mean, he's not too bad. He brings out something else with him. I kind of wonder if you can... Uh, If you have uh, him and Gold Gadget in your hand, you can just drop, uh, like, just fill up your board very quickly just because you drop one of them and then you special summon the other four. We have Necroz Mirror. This card can be used to ritual summon any Necroz ritual monster, tribute monsters from your hand or field, and or banish Necroz monsters from your graveyard. Then Ritual Summon one Necroz Ritual monster from your hand whose level exactly equals the total levels of the monsters. You can only use this effect of Necroz Mirror once per turn. If you control no monsters, you can banish this card and one Necroz monster from your graveyard, add one Necroz spell from your deck to your hand. So that's uh, quite nice for the Ritual monsters. I mean, it lets you summon any of the Necroz Ritual monsters, so it's not limited to one of them. Ghost Bell and Haunted Mansion. When a card or effect is activated that includes any of these effects, quick effect, you can discard this card, negate that activation. Add a card from the graveyard to the hand, deck, and or extra deck. Special summon a monster card from the graveyard, or banish a card from the graveyard. So, she's quite good. I mean, she basically just shuts off anything involving the graveyard. Odd Eyes Advanced Dragon. You can tribute summon this card by tributing one level 5 or higher monster. If this card is tribute summoned, you can destroy one monster your opponent controls, and if you do, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the monster's original attack. Hmm. That's very nice. When this card is destroyed, th when this card destroys a monster by battle, you can special summon one level 5 or higher monster from your hand or graveyard in defense position, except Odd Eyes Advanced Dragon. You can only use this effect once per turn. I do like how uh, you can tribute one level 5 or higher monster as opposed to you have to tribute two even if they're over level 5. That's rather nice. I do like how, uh, you know, I mean, he blows up a monster your opponent controls, your opponent takes damage, and when he dies you can bring back the uh, level 5 or higher monster that you used to tribute him out. Eternal Soul. Every Dark Magician in your monster zone is unaffected by your opponent's card effects. If this face-up card leaves the field, destroy all monsters you control. You can only use the following effects of Eternal Soul once per turn. You can activate one of these effects, special summon one Dark Magician from your hand or graveyard, or add one Dark Magic Attack or Thousand Knives from your deck to your hand. So, I mean, this seems like quite nice support. I mean, you need some way to protect it, but... Uh, 
I mean, being able to just special summon Dark Magician from your hand or graveyard, or being able to pull out the uh, spells that support them, both seem uh, quite good overall. So we have another Lefty Driver. We have another Hot Red Dragon. We have Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring. When a card or effect is activated that includes any of these effects, you can discard this card and negate the effect. So add a card to, from the deck to the hand, special summon from the deck, or send a card from the deck to the graveyard. You can only use the effect once per turn. So, I mean, just like the uh, Haunted Bell, you know, Haunted Bell was graveyard, Ash Blossom is deck. So, I mean, they're both uh, very good cards. Another Trick Star Holly Angel. Another Stardust Wish. Ancient Gear Golem, Ultimate Pound. Cannot be special summoned. If this card attacks a defense position monster, inflict piercing battle damage up to twice per turn. When this attacking card destroys a monster by battle, you can discard one machine monster. This card can attack again in a row. If this card on the field is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can add one Palmerization from your deck to your hand, and if you do, add one other Ancient Gear monster from your graveyard to your hand. Yeah, so I mean, it's uh, overall seems quite good. You know, it has piercing battle damage. He can attack uh, multiple times a turn. Brings up Palmerization and returns uh, Ancient Gear cards to your hand. So overall, I like him. Hieratic Dragon King of Atum. Once per turn, you can detach one material from this card. Special summon one dragon from your deck but make its attack and defense zero. This card cannot attack during the turn you activated this effect. So, I mean, not bad for uh, special summoning out uh, either if you need something for fusion materials or for links or XEs. Cyber Dragon Nashter. This, card name, this card's name becomes Cyber Dragon while on the field or graveyard. You can discard one other monster, special summon this card from your hand. If this card is normal or special summoned, you can target one machine monster with 2100 attack or defense in your graveyard. Special summon it. Also, you cannot special summon monsters for the rest of the turn, except machine monsters. You can only use each effect once per turn. Hmm. Yeah, because I'm trying to think the Cyber Dragons are, I think, uh, 2100 attack. So, I mean, you know, he quickly and easily brings out your Cyber Dragons. Super Quantal Met King Great Magnus. Three level 12 monsters. Alrighty then. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can special summon three Super Quantal Mech Beast XEs monsters with different names from your graveyard. This card gains these effects based on the number of materials with different names attached to it. Two plus during the main phase. Quick effect, you can detach one material from this card, shuffle one card on the field into the deck. Four plus it is unaffected by card effects except super quant cards. Or six plus your opponent cannot add cards from the deck to the hand by card effects. I'm going to go out on a limb and assume that the uh, super quantal mech beasts have some rule that allows them to, uh, when you use them for XE summons, you can add the material that's under them onto them, because otherwise I don't see how you'd get the 4 plus or 6 plus. But I mean, if you get them off, those are really good effects. It requires level 3 level 12 monsters. The Winged Dragon of Raw Immortal Phoenix. Cannot be normal summoned or set, must be special summoned by its own effect. If the Winged Dragon of Raw is sent from the field to your graveyard while this card is in your graveyard, special summon this card. 
Card and effects cannot be activated in response to this card's activation. This card is unaffected by other card's effects. You can pay 1,000 life points, send one monster on the field to the graveyard. Once per turn during the end phase, send this card to the graveyard, and if you do special summon one ring, Dragon of Raw Sphere Mode from your hand, deck, or graveyard. Ignoring its summoning conditions. Now I know, uh... Uh, Wing Dragon of Raw Sphere Mode is, uh, I know that was the only one that you couldn't, uh, cheat out easily for a while. I know that they have come out with, uh, new support re recently that makes them easier to bring out, so, well, I mean, hopefully this guy will start, uh, seeing more play. I'm, I'm assuming he's not seeing much play now just because Sphere Mode is kind of a pain to bring out, but, yeah, so that was, uh, another six packs down. Overall, like the, they're not bad pet kits. You get, you know, a really solid game board. You get, uh, well, what look like overall high power, uh, you know, good cards. I know the uh, Ash Blossom and Holy Bell and the other uh, Zombie Girls are all very good cards. So, yeah, so if you like this video, uh, please like, comment, subscribe. Yeah, you, you know the routine. So thank you for watching.